Danny Smiles here for Cuisine Art. Today we're making tiramisu, one of my favorite desserts, a very easy dessert, still involves a bit of technique, not a lot of ingredients. I'm gonna guide you throughout the whole process. You'll make a beautiful tiramisu. I know your nonna probably has a tiramisu. There's a family recipe. I'll show you mine, super easy. We're gonna get started with brewing some coffee. Coffee, cocoa powder, a chocolate bar that we're gonna shave right at the end. Amazing eggs. You need that orangey yolk. You need that color in that tiramisu. Mascarpone, ladyfinger cookies. You can make your own cake. You can make your own ladyfinger cookies, but I mean, store-bought is just perfect for this recipe. Let's get cooking. Having everything laid out, having all your ingredients laid out, having your cooking equipment laid out, it just makes everything easier for baking and for cooking. All right, so let's start. Four bowls. So we have one for the mascarpone. We're gonna separate our yolks from our whites and we're gonna have our coffee, okay? So the biggest one is gonna be for the mascarpone. You know, the smallest one is for the coffee because you're only dipping the lady fingers. So we could set that aside. So let's place our bowls. We'll start with the, the mascarpone. A kilo of mascarpone, that's in the bowl here. Now we're gonna carefully separate our eggs. Eight eggs, patience. I just wanna make sure that we get no yolk whatsoever. No yolk whatsoever in the whites. We have a cup of sugar, just a bit in the whites, and then the rest is all in the yolks. Okay, and we could start mixing. Very simple, we're gonna cream our egg yolks now with our Evolution X cordless hand blender from Cuisine Art. And we're gonna start slowly. Just gonna kind of incorporate the sugar. You don't want to make too much of a mess. And then you kind of just increase the speed as you're going. We're gonna be at this for about five minutes, okay? The test. Don't feel any sugar. Perfectly incorporated. Your yolks are creamed with the sugar and that's gonna be the base of the tiramisu. At this point, We'll wash the whisks and we'll whip our egg whites. Let's whip our egg whites that we're gonna fold last just to aerate the whole tiramisu, just to bring it all together. That's what you want exactly right here, okay? Mm. If your mascarpone is directly out of the fridge, that's when you need to really use a hand blender, but when it's at room temperature, it's already like kind of creamy. You're putting the egg mixture in there. Look at that color. Wow. So this is exactly what I'm saying. You just kind of mix it in. You don't need to over whip it. At this point, we're just gonna kind of slowly fold in our egg whites, you know? Give it that fluff, give it that volume. And at this point, it's really, you're not over mixing. You're, Kind of just incorporating the egg whites. You're just folding them in. Now that you have your mixture, your coffee's cooled down, you have your ladyfinger cookies, we have some cocoa, we have some chocolate. It's all about layering. I like to start with just a nice little base of the cream, okay? So that is gonna prevent the cookies from sliding. You know you're gonna put the cookies at the bottom, so you'll cream the bottom a bit. Like I said, you could make your own cake, you could be artistic about it, but a beautiful tiramisu is all about ladyfinger cookies. And in our sweetened coffee, not too much, this one has no alcohol whatsoever. You know, you could add Kahlua, you could add Tia Maria, you could even add Amaro. It depends what direction you really wanna go with your tiramisu. I really want that coffee, that chocolate flavor, that classic flavor. So this is like the dessert lasagna, is the best way I could tell you. So if your cookies are gonna go one way, you're gonna layer it, then the cookies are gonna go the other way. It's all about just, you know, dipping them in to the coffee and you could add as many layers as you want. So if you have a thick dish, go ahead. This is perfect. The cream, the cookies, everything comes together. So I'm gonna just put a bit of little cocoa powder. That's it. Just kind of grate some chocolate on there. And now we continue. We continue the layering. 
Oh, it's hovering. The cream is just almost like ready to spill out. It's perfect. But unfortunately, we need to let this set in the fridge for a minimum of 12 hours. Like I said, everything needs to come together. So we'll finish it with just a bit of cocoa powder, some chocolate. Tiramisu. It's an easy one. And that's what cooking's supposed to be. 